<laughs> Welcome to our last NBA Today show of 2015. I'm Taylor Gray. And I'm Morgan Kaufman. Taylor, are you excited for the break? Yeah, I'm so excited to have a three-week va vacation. What about you, Mo? I'm just excited to take selfies with Santa. Haha, <laughs> funny, Morgan. Anyways, with the holidays coming up, we sent Melissa and Isabella to interview a very special guest. Roll the footage. Hey guys, I'm Melissa. And I'm Isabella. And we are on our way to interview a very special guest. We don't even know who it is. We have no idea who it is. So we are walking to the secret location and we'll get back to you. Let's go. So guys, they're not here. Maybe they're a little late. Like how long have we been waiting here? For a while. So we'll see, we'll wait a few more minutes to see if our special guest comes, so. Just mentioning um, very unprofessional guest. Yeah. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> okay, I think we should just leave. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they, they haven't come. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just got an email. It says, blah, 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 sorry, blah, blah, interview, blah, 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 late, from your jolly friend, SC. Who's our jolly friend? Maybe, like, jolly, like, jolly ranchers. Like, they're telling us to go buy some jolly ranchers. Let's go to the student center. They might have jolly ranchers, you know? Yeah. Let's just go yeah. see. Let's just Let's, maybe it's a clue. So we're in the student center looking for Jolly Ranchers and there are none to be found. There are no Jolly Ranchers, but what we did find is no cookies. Someone ate all the cookies, ladies and gents, but they left some milk. What could this mean? I don't know. It's the holiday season. I don't know what this could mean. It, I, it's getting a little freaky, so I, I think we should go. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go before this gets a little dangerous. Okay, it's, it's time. Melissa, that's our special guest. I think that's our special guest. We need to go. No, 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 he could be dangerous. He could. What are you talking about? Let's go, we need to go. We have to track him down. <laughs> I think we've got him. I think we've got him. Stranger danger, stranger danger. Oh my God. That was too much running. I think he escaped. I think. Melissa is no longer on the move. Melissa is no longer. Guys, look. Oh my Lanta! What in the world? Did you see that? No, it couldn't have been. <gasps> I wonder who that was. Too bad we couldn't see the interview. I was really looking forward to seeing who that special guest was. I guess it will re remain a mystery. On a more serious note, with winter break comes the dreaded midterms. Let's see what tips Bo Beaton and Sam have come up with to help us prepare. Hey, it's Advice Giving Eden. And Sam. And we are here to give you some advice and tips on how to survive midterms, which is in about a week or so, so let's get into it. Tip number one, get a good night's rest. Or don't. Get in bed at a reasonable hour so your body and mind can be re-energized for the next day. Or don't. You know what they say, pass out at three, wake up at 10, go out to eat, do it again. Man, I love 10th grade. Anyway, tip number two, it's crucial to avoid distractions so you can stay focused while preparing for exams. For example, cell phones are a major distraction when you're trying to study, so make sure they are far away from you. Or don't. Put your phone away. It's not a big deal. Tip number three. Make sure you eat plenty of food to keep your mind flowing positive thoughts. Eggs are proven to be a really good choice for breakfast. Eat some fruits or vegetables like cantaloupe, watermelon, strawberries. Fruit loops work too. Well, that's all my advice. I guess all I'm really trying to say is that your midterms are very, very, very important. So study, 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 and ultimately do your best. That's all from me. Vobeden, advice giving Eden and your favorite 12th grader. Wow, thanks for great advice, Eden. Taylor, I don't know if I would follow Sam's advice. I agree. I'm trying to ace my exams. My New Year's resolution is to get all A's next semester. What about you, Morgan? My resolution is just to be nicer to my friends and family. <laughs> we sent Bree and Gabs around campus to ask what our classmates what their New Year's resolution is, what they want for Christmas, and to guess what is in our special gift box. What's up, guys? It's Ovio Gab. It's Breezy. And this week we're here asking people what, the news re what their New Year's resolution is, what they want for Christmas, and what's in the box? <laughs> so, um, what do you guys want for Christmas? <coughs> PS4. Yeezys. Yeezys. Okay, what's your New Year's resolution? What? What's your New Year's resolution? To be with everybody, you know? What do you want for Christmas? Um... Uh, I want the ticket back to Taiwan. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's a piece of paper. Who is that? Mr. Matos? That Mr. Matos! Mo, have you ever stayed in the dorms during a holiday break? No, I'm a day student, but let's ask Miss Bentley how the dorm students celebrate the holidays here at MBA. 
because in our Asian country, we usually don't celebrate Christmas as like like in America. Because I know like in general, Christmas over there is just basically taking pictures, a bunch of Christmas tree, but we don't really give gifts like that in our Asian countries. So with this case, helping you guys understand in Christmas, we usually would do a little, what they call the secret Santa, which we draw names, each of us draw names, and then we keep it as a secret, obviously, until the day that we have our Christmas party. That's where we show who our secret sister is. And giving thanks to them, appreciate them with the gifts. We celebrate Lunar New Year, Dragon Ball Festival, Moon Festival, and that's basically it. Well, we celebrate um, Carnival, which it happens um, when it's kind of like springtime here in the U.S. Um, well, in my city, Colombia, we have a really famous festival that's named La Feria de Cali. Another holiday that I've seen a lot of students get together is the Chinese Lunar New Year, which I've done in the past where I have all my Chinese girls come in and cook, and then we just set up a table up front, um, and then we all enjoy the meals together. Now, it doesn't have to be Chinese students. In the past, I have other from other countries, like German, um, German girl, some of the American girls actually join us in our little celebration table where we just cook food. I think um, the most interesting one and the one that I liked the most was just happened recently when um, I went with my host family to celebrate Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was um, very cool. And just, I really do think that every country should celebrate this holiday because it's really important for us to be grateful. Wow, that sounds like lots of fun. I wish I was staying over break. Now let's head over to sports to see what our athletic teams have been up to. Hi, I'm Jack Cannon. And I'm Liam Neff. <laughs> Here at Montverde, we, we are really good at sports. Yes, Jack, we are very good at sports. <laughs> Jack, do we have any recent sports scores that can back up our unbelievable reputation of always winning at the academy? Well, of course we do, Liam. We have new outstanding scores every week. Let's start with soccer, because I am a soccer player. Last Tuesday, our boys' varsity team won 4-0 against Lake Brantley and won another game on Thursday against Celebration High. Wow, sounds like the only people celebrating were the Eagles, Jack. What about basketball? Over in the nest, our varsity boys' basketball team won. Is that what you were going to say? You guessed it, Liam. Our boys won two games over the weekend against Shiloh High School and Westlake High School. You know, Jack, over here at the Verd, our Lady Eagles know how to put up a fight on the fields and courts as well. That's right, our women's basketball team played last Thursday against the Rock and won. It was a close game. Hey Jack, did you know our women's basketball team is ranked 11th in the nation and 2nd in the state? Wow, that's outstanding. That about wraps things up here on the last Sports Central this year. Back to you, Tay. What a great highlight reel. Every single week I'm always impressed by what our athletes achieve. I agree. Being a part of this TV studio crew has been lots of fun this semester. My favorite part was being able to be the man on the street for a week. What about you, Taylor? My favorite part was finally being able to be on the main desk. Let's watch these clips to reminisce on the last couple of weeks. Here we go. Down, down, quiet on set. Five, four, three. How did we do it last week? You said, hey, Eagles. Hey, nice hey, Eagles. So do you want me to do that? Yeah, let's just do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, Eagles. It's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm Taylor Gray. And I'm Morgan Kaufman. Taylor, are you ex- Hello, my- Hey, my heart's racing like more than I can- <laughs> Welcome to our last <laughs> NBA Today show. And I'm Morgan Kaufman. Taylor- Oh my- <laughs> I, I can't say Just that. Just roll like. with it. Tell me what to do. Hey, Jack, say like, wow. Wow. Hey. Hey. We had a lot of good times in this class, don't you think, Tay Gray? Yeah, I agree. I would definitely take this class again. Now for a quick desk mention. Today the hour of code is after school. See Mr. Peretz for more details. Well, that wraps up our last show of the semester. From all the students in the TV studio broadcasting course in the Stevens Media Arts Building, I'm Morgan. And I'm Taylor. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays, Eagles! Bye! Goodbye! Bye! 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 Bye. 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 It's your girl Breezy, and it's your girl Ovio Gabs, and we're signing off with this semester of MBA Today. Peace, Peace out. out! Take care.